guys, tonight I have another process video. Here are the cards that I'm going to be using. On the left side, I have a G design G, and on the right, I have a design K by Becky Higgins. All of these cards are from Sweater Weather from Simple Stories. I love them. They're so cute. I'm going to add this apple of my eye card to the top left-hand corner because we went to an apple festival. And this card here was made by one of my uh, viewers, Jackie, and I wanted to incorporate it. I also incorporated these little tiny Insta squares. So let's get started. The first thing that I did is I took out my Heidi Swap color shine in gold. I love this stuff guys. It is so amazing. If you do not own the spray, you really need to. It's just fabulous. So I'm just randomly splattering it all over the cards. I wanted to give the cards a little bit of interest. They seemed a little too plain and boring for me and I wanted to try something different. So I'm just going to continue to do that until I'm happy with as many splatters as I can put on these cards. And then I'm going to dry them off because I want to make sure they're dry before I go on to my next step. I'm going to take some color from my watercolors. And this first one that I'm using is a really, really pretty brownish red color. It matches the Fox and the Be Thankful card really, really well. So I wanted to incorporate that. And I'm just squirting water on top of each of the colors and then just splattering it around. I'm gonna use this dark brown as well. And this was my favorite part because this dark color really brought all the splatters together. I think they look really good like this. So I'm just gonna continue to do that until the cards are satisfactory with all the splatters. And I'm gonna dry them off as well. And here is the final result. Love how that looks. Okay, I'm going to do some stamping now. I'm using these Ranger Archival inks. The colors I'm using are Sepia, Coffee, and Orange Blossom. I thought they complemented the cards really well. And I have a Tim Holtz stamp, and I'm just randomly stamping all over the place. I'm also stamping off on the side on that white card just to get some generation stamping going where the stamp is faded in some areas and full strength in others. I really like that look and that was the look that I was going for. So I continue to do that with all of the colors and I'm really happy with how this is turning out. It looks so amazing. I was so happy with the result. And here is a close up. I love the way that stamp came out on the card and the gold Heidi Swap spray. I mean, sometimes you have an idea in your mind and it comes out okay. Other times it comes out horrible. This time it came out amazing. I love how these cards look. This Be Thankful one is my favorite. It just looks so fabulous. I'm not going to put a picture on this card because I want all that beautiful spray to show. Now I'm going to take out my Distress Inks, my mini Distress Inks by Tim Holtz. I'm using a Vintage Photo and I'm going to use my mini blender to go around all the edges and just distress the edges. I think that really brings everything together since I did so much of the splattering and stamping. Now I'm going to flip through my pictures and I'm going to start with this one right here that says Apple Dumpling In. I thought that was really cute since we were at an Apple Festival. And I'm just cutting this tab, a tab into this card here because my picture would not fit. So I figured if I use my X-Acto knife and just get in there and cut a tab, I can slide the photo in and make it fit perfectly on that card. So I was really happy with how that came out. And then I'm going to go to my ephemera pack. And this is the Sweater Weather ephemera pack. I highly recommend if you're going to do the sweater weather cards to do the ephemera pack as well. It just complements it so well. There's so many great pieces in this ephemera pack. It was actually hard for me to decide which ones to use because there were so many good ones. And then I'm going to go to my wood veneer stash and I'm going to put this little leaf down and I think it's really cute considering that this was the beginning of fall. I'm also going to use the enamel dots from sweater weather as well. And these are really cute. And of course, my stamping up rhinestones that you guys know that watch me, I'm addicted to. And I'm just going to make a little cluster at the bottom. And I'm really happy with the result on this card. It came out really, really cute. I know I covered up a lot of the stamping and the splatter, but I don't do so on all the cards. So we're going to move on to the next card. Um, I'm not sure which picture I'm going to use here. I kind of just flipped through. Now, if you notice that Mike pictures have a different color cast on them. What I did is I passed them through a filter. I think I used the Broadway filter in Pick Stitch, and I got the pictures to match a little bit better with 
the cards and I really like doing that. It just brought the whole layout together. So I just cut another tab in that card there as well. It's a picture of my husband. I wanted to include that one. And I'm just going to pair that down. And then I'm going to use my tiny attacher to put some staples in there. I just think that it gives it a lot of interest. Really cute. I like the texture that all the staples add. And I'm going to take out my cork pieces and I find this little heart one and it's perfect. I'm going to put that in the top corner. And I'm going to go back to the ephemera pack and I'm going to try and find something to go along the bottom of that picture. And I do find this one here that says, hey there, pumpkin. <laughs> I think that's so cute. I don't think my husband would think it was cute, but I don't think he's going to see it. So <laughs> it's okay. I can get away with that one. Now, I thought I was going to put some sequins on this picture as well, but it didn't work out. So I passed and I did add two more staples onto the card and it is complete. I'm gonna call that one done and we're gonna move on to the next card. Now this card here, I'm not gonna do anything to. I think it's just absolutely perfect the way it is. I love the way the splatters and the stamp came out on it. So since all the other cards are so busy, I'm gonna just hold back on this one <laughs> if I possibly can. Now we're gonna move on to the next card, which is the Be Thankful. Now I love those flowers, but I love this wood veneer so much that I had to include it. It's just, I don't know, it's just so fabulous. I could not uh, pass not using it on this layout. So I'm just looking for something to highlight it, and I find this cute little heart, and I think it's totally perfect. I love this card so much. And then I decide to take out my Wink Estella. I'm going to add a little bit of glimmer on top of that heart. I think it gives it some interest. And I will show you up close what that looks like. Look how cute and sparkly that looks. Oh, I love this card. Okay, so we're going to call that done. I'm going to put that in the pocket. We're going to move on to the next card. On this card here, I'm just going to put some random photos that I took during that day. Um, again, we were at an apple festival, so I took the picture of the sign and the caramel apples. I just thought it looked so cute. And the picture on the bottom is the band that we listened to. Um, the music was really cool. So I'm going to put these little tabs in. In the beginning, I had said that a viewer of mine, Jackie, made a card for me. And this was part of that card, but I pulled off a piece of it so that I could incorporate it in other parts of the layout so I can blend in the card that she sent me. I really wanted to use it on this layout and I think it was absolutely perfect. So I made two little tabs with the white and black polka dotted paper that was part of that card. That's the only part of this that's not sweater leather. And then I'm going to put a hundred staples in this card, <laughs> which is totally okay because I love staples. So I'm okay with that. Now I was going to put this fall these on there. I wish I had it. Kind of looked cute, but I don't. <laughs> I change it and I put something else here. And I'm just looking around now. I see this little gold flag and I thought it would look perfect on that picture I did of my husband. So I'm going to pull that out and I'm going to put it underneath the heart cork piece. I rarely ever do this, go back and change cards after I do them, but I was just so tempted on this one. I thought it was just so perfect. So I went back and changed that. And now I'm back to the card we left off on. And here are some um, cut aparts from Scrapcastic. And I'm not sure if this is the October or November kit. I kind of mixed those kits together all in one big box. So it, I know it was one of their fall kits. And it's really, really cute. It just says um, more of this, which was the music. And we definitely want more of music because it was awesome. So now I'm going through uh, my ephemera and I find these sewn pieces. These are also not from the sweater weather kit. I just had these in my stash from the past kit, but they looked so perfect and I love the real stitching on them because I don't stitch on my cards. Something that I hope to try and incorporate for 2015 in my project life. I'm gonna try, I'm horrible with the sewing machine people, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> And I thought that was really cute that that real stitching just really brings such nice detail to the card. I love it. So we're going to go on to the next card. This one here is a group shot of all of my husband's um, classmates. This was kind of like an informal class reunion. They kind of all got together at the Apple Festival. So we took a picture, a group shot of everyone, and I think it's just super fabulous. It had to go in this layout. And I'm just going through my ephemera and trying to decide on which pieces I want to add to this photo. 
Um, I kind of flip through different things. I'm not sure what I want to do in that top left corner. Um, I try a couple of pieces that are too large, don't really fit. I'm trying that fall piece again. It just refuses to work anywhere on the layout. And then I remember I had chipboard pieces from this collection as well. So I found this little chipboard uh, apple and it's really cute. Um, I was going to glue it down but realized it was self-adhesive. <laughs> and then I just write uh, class reunion on there. And I'm going to add a little enamel dot to the side of it. And it was an informal class reunion. But there was a real one going on with the class prior to them and we crashed it so I would definitely say it was a class reunion <laughs> and this is how everything came out on the page I absolutely love it I think putting the splatters and the distressing was just like over the top it just made this layout so amazing so that was the first page and I do make one small change here I'm going to incorporate that white and black polka dot paper again on the corner of this fox card I figured it was a good place to add it and since that paper is on the opposite page I figured it would help tie everything together so now it's complete and I'm really happy with it so let's move on to the next page now the next page I'm going to do the exact same process I'm going to do all the paint splattering which I've already done and I'm drying it here with my heat tool and here Here's just a little bit of a close-up of some of the cards. I absolutely love how this journaling card came out. So cute and really just adorable. Um, the splatters really brought these cards to life. I mean, just absolutely perfect. Now I'm going to do some stamping, and I'm going to use that same uh, Stampers Anonymous Tim Holtz stamp. And I'm just going to go randomly stamp. I'm still using the same three archival inks, which is Sapia, coffee and orange blossom. They match perfectly with these cards. So if you're looking for inks that are going to match back to the sweater weather collection, that would be it. And I'm going to take out my vintage photo again, which is my mini distress, distress ink pad from Tim Holtz. And I'm going to do the edges of all the cards. I think that just really is the perfect finishing touch. Okay, and here is just a close-up of all the stamping. Love this so much. <laughs> I cannot get over how happy I was, how this all pulled together. Okay, so let's start on this first card. And I have this little cute place, and I believe that was the Apple Blossom Inn. <laughs> it was just really cute. It had apples all over the front. It had the sign and everything. I just thought it was like the perfect representation of being at the Apple Festival. So I put that down and then I'm going to go over to my wood veneers and I know what I'm looking for. I want a geotag. It took me forever to dig through all those wood veneers. I don't know how that happened, but my wood veneer collection is like multiplying overnight. I think when I close up that box and I go upstairs for the night, they multiply on their own when I'm not watching. <laughs> it's just getting bigger and bigger. Okay, so here I'm just going to staple down this piece of ephemera. Really cute. I wanted to be able to write the Apple Festival name and the, and the year. So this way I would remember because we go every year. I love how that card came out. Very simple, not too much added. Now onto this card. I'm not going to add a picture here. I'm just going to add some pieces. And I found this gold piece that says, um, I love this life. It worked perfect with the gold splatter that was on the cards. And here is another one of those stitch pieces that I had in my stash from a past kit. Love that as well, so I wanted to add that. And then I'm gonna add one stamping up rhinestone just to highlight the wording on the bottom and love the final results of this card. Really love that you can see the stamping and the splattering a lot on that card. Okay, we're gonna move on to the next. At the reunion, they had a Budweiser truck and you kind of just served yourself and I thought it was totally freaking hysterical. So that's why I put that wood veneer that says, ha ha. <laughs> it just was really funny. I was just all thrilled like, oh yeah, I get to go pour my own beer. <laughs> so I didn't put anything else on that card. Like that you can see the stamping and the splattering on that one as well. So we're gonna call that one done and I'm gonna move on to the next one. Now this is just my journaling card. I'm just going to explain what we did for the day, what was going on. I really love that you can see the splatter and the stamping through the writing. And then I'm going to add some of the enamel dots from the Sweater Weather collection and also some more stamping up rhinestones. Those are the only rhinestones that I will use. I don't know, I'm just totally addicted to them and I just order five packs at a time. <laughs> 
And that's the final result. I love that stamping up in the corner there that shows. And I thought that came out really cute. So we're going to move on to the next card. Now this one here is the soup that we got at the Apple Festival. It's not as good as the soup we get at our um, fall um, folk life festival in our area. We wanted to give this soup a try. It was good. It was not as good. <laughs> My husband's favorite is chicken and noodles. That's his thing. I only learned about it when I moved out here in the Midwest. I didn't eat it out in New York, so it's just one of those, you know, new things for me. Chicken and noodles. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> and then I'm just going to add this ephemera piece that says love and that little heart tag on the top, which I totally adored and had to make work. And I'm going to put some Wink of Stella on this card as well to tie back to the other one I did earlier on the other page. And I really like how this card came out really super cute and I love that yum cork piece oh so cute okay now on to this card this is the card that Jackie sent me it did have a second square of the dot paper turned in the opposite direction on this card but I took it off because I needed to try and incorporate this card in this layout and I didn't have any of these papers that she used so I'm going to attach this Heidi Swap Today overlay, which is really super cute. And then this wood veneer that's a leaf. And I really like how this came out. I didn't want to do too much to it. So I'm going to call that done and we're going to move on. And then this is the next card. I'm not sure which picture I'm going to use here. I kind of flip back and forth. And then I decide I'm going to use the one of my husband that was actually at the reunion that we crashed. <laughs> And I'm just layering a piece of vellum and the circle that says sweater weather because it was freezing and it was an outside tent. And this was October time frame, but I literally froze my little behind off that night. <laughs> but we were having so much fun. So I just add that blessed ephemera piece that I really like. Then we're going to go on to the next card. This one here is just one of the vendor booths at the Apple Festival. I just thought it was really cute. It had the apples all over it. And we had stopped at a lot of different little vendors. And this is the kind of like iconic kind of thing from the Apple Festivals. All these cute little um, homemade kind of stands. So I wanted to include that. I thought it was really cute. And as you can see, I incorporated that white and black polka dotted paper again from Jackie's card to get it all to blend. And then I had this ephemera piece that said thank you and I thought it was just cute because thank you to the vendors that were awesome that day. Okay, this is the next card. It's just the little tiny Insta squares all put together to make one card. But of course, guys, you know I had to put something in the middle. There was no way that card could slip by without something in the middle. And now we're on the last card. This one here, I don't think I put a picture on, but I had this piece here that I had cut off of another card, and I wanted to incorporate that, so I just need to round the corners to get it to blend with the original card. And then I add a cork piece. I go to my cork uh, collection, and just the heart today, I thought that was really cute since there was a heart on the card. And I think I keep it really simple. So that was it, guys. That was everything. I hope you guys like this. Please thumbs up if you'd like to see more process videos. And I really enjoy doing these a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed this spread. And I'm just going to show you the other page as well because they're going to be side by side of my album. Thank you so much for watching.